Hey guys. You know, I think I need to actually find a stump. I have one. I have a stump right over there. I should get on it and make my stump speech. So this stump speech is going to be, out, be about the hypocrisy in dog breeding. So if you're a breeder and you're breeding, why are you the only one that's allowed to breed? Why will you not sell dogs with papers? I, I, there's some people in the show community that have worked for years um, getting the perfect show dog. And for those people, I tip my hat and absolutely, you, you guard your bloodlines, you've worked hard for it. Um, you know, you've got a very specific thing that's showing. But we want to talk about a handful of people that this is happening to. I mean, there's so few people, and I'm not just talking dachshunds, I'm talking all of the breeds out there. There's so few people that actually have their own you know, genotype, if you will, that they have narrowed down into the, to the dog market. And by hoarding um, your bloodlines is actually causing damage to the breed. There was a big write-up in Canine Chronicles in April, feel free to look it up, um, about the fact that if you are taking a dog that's an amazing quality dog and you're petting it out just because you don't want to show against it, and you're not willing to put it out into a breeding program, even if it's a pet breeding program, you are doing damage to the breed. Yep, you're doing damage to the breed. It is not fair of you to sit there and complain about the quality of the pet market if you're not helping to supply the pet market with better quality dogs. That's right, that's my stump speech. Here, unless the dog has an obvious flaw, it's available to be sold to the pet market. That actually was my goal when I started uh, this version. Of course, we've been doing this forever, but this version that I started in about 2010 was to increase the quality of the pet market. Not my business. I mean, my business is great, but to increase the quality everywhere. I know of many breeders all across the United States, high quantity breeders that have my dogs. And I'm proud of that. I'm not upset at that. I'm not worried about that. I'm not, I, I, the great day would be when I show up to a dog show and the ring is full of my dogs that I have to compete against. I'm sorry, I'd find that a great day. I find a great day because I would stop showing. If my dogs were showing and I didn't have to show them, that's a great day. It's a lot, the big cost savings right there. But yeah, um, you got to be able to share. Not to mention, there's a whole market that you just cut out. There's a whole segregation of clients that you just cut out of your business of being able to be clients. You know, I mean, that's like saying, you know, I'm not selling to anybody uh, west of Mississippi. Why pick anybody? Anybody, you know what, if, if you're willing to learn how to become a breeder and, and you want to learn and you're willing to let me mentor you and learn how to do this, you know what, you deserve to have good dogs. Why would I make you start with crap? That doesn't make sense. We need to be conscientious of the pet market. We need to make sure everybody has good dogs. Everybody deserves to have a dog that's beautiful and that looks like the standard. Come on, guys. Let's get on board.